Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. Today I want to show you a cute little project I came up with. Um, a friend wanted a little treat for a Halloween party for the children that will be there. And thinking easy, right away I thought of this project I shared on my stamping blog, stampingsmiles.com in September, because look how fast and easy this is. I have the gusseted cellophane bags from the Stampin' Up! 2012 holiday catalog, a box of theater candy, a bag of Halloween popcorn, some picky sticks, pixie sticks, and you know some fun size candy. And the, the one half inch striped ribbon, again from the holiday catalog, with the Tricky Treat stamp set, and how cute and easy, you know, using it for my tag. But then I started adding this up. And if she's doing this for a lot of children, this starts to get a little bit pricey. So it was back to the drawing board. But again, wanting to use this microwave popcorn I found, already decorated for Halloween. Just so much of the work is done for us. How can we just make this cuter? So let's go ahead and show you what I've done this time. I have taken um, from the window frames framelits from the holiday catalog, the second smallest one, and die cut a piece of Tangerine Tango cardstock and then um, stamp the Happy Halloween. It's from the Toxic Treats Toxic Treat stamp set, again from the 2012 Stampin' Up! holiday catalog. And look how that follows that curve. Isn't that perfect? And I want to do a little bit more to it. And so I got out my festive paper piercing pack and I paper pierced it but it wasn't as dramatic as I wanted so then I thought okay let's try something else and so I positioned that on there and I thought can I get through those holes to have a poke you know a polka dot border so it kind of look layered and so I got out my basic black stamp and write marker and this small end that's 0.5 millimeters I thought, okay, let's just see, and I'll be doggone. It just goes in there as slick as you could ever want. And so I just had to go along and go through all of all of these. And if I don't catch it quite right, that's okay. You know, if I miss, this is just a dye ink. It's going to wash right off. We can just rinse off this ink. And so I went around the whole border. And let me show you one that's done. Isn't that cute? Don't you just love the polka dots all over, all around? Yay! <laughs> okay, so now we need to finish it. Now to the center of our window frames die cut piece, we're going to add a punch art ghost using the Owl Builder Punch. And this was one of the projects in my class number five punch art class. And we just need the owl in white. And I didn't catch all of his feet because I knew I didn't need them. And then some basic black for the eyes. Basic black card stuff. Okay, as our pieces go flying. <laughs> and then his vest. We just need part of it. We don't need the whole thing. And there we go. Okay, let's get the extra pieces we don't need out of our way. And his feet. So we'll start with trimming off what part of the feet are left because this is the top of our ghost's head. Okay, won't this be so cute for little children? And so we'll put some snail adhesive right along the bottom. I'm going to put this on here so you can see what I'm doing. Black against black, not the easiest thing to see. And here are his little feet. How cute is this? And so then the eyes. If you have trouble getting just a little bit of snail on something small like that, go ahead and use the two-way glue or a glue stick been doing this quite a while and I just prefer to use my snail. usually don't have much trouble with that at all. Okay, how cute. So let's go ahead and put him on. More snail adhesive. Perfect. Now of course we need 
some googlies. These are the self-adhesive googly eyes from the Stampin' Up! 2012 holiday catalog. I know you can buy googly eyes anywhere, but can you get them anywhere with adhesive on them? I just love that I don't have to fool around with some liquid glue on the back of something that's hard to hang on to. And there we have it. How cute is that? And those eyes just completely make it. So this is the center of our um, decoration for our microwave popcorn. So I'll bring that back set this aside and I have a 1 by 12 inch piece of designer paper from the um, Howl's Tooth and Scaring Bone. I just love that name. And I have a piece of sticky strip on each end. I chose this paper because I like the Tangerine Tango and of course the other colors just coordinate beautifully. And, and this is not quite Tangerine Tango. And so this one just didn't thrill me as much. It was more obvious, but with a smaller amount of it, it really looks like it coordinates a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to tuck these under. And this is not quite long enough to go all the way around to make the band, but that's okay. We're just going to pull them up, and they get very close, but our, this will cover them. We'll cover that. So we just need to peel this off. Okay. Sometimes there we go. Sometimes that stuff is just stubborn. But I find out if I press down really well, it helps lift it a lot easier. So we've got this one. And we'll go ahead and peel this one off. And I didn't feel the need to go ahead and put score lines on this because it's paper and it folds around and it's molding oh so beautifully. And so this will finish our wrap right here. And we have a cute little project. It won't be expensive to give away, not ridiculously long to make it all, and it'll just bring a little bit of delight and something other than candy for the kids. <laughs> And so I think she's going to really like these. And so, as I mentioned, I have punch art classes, and I have eight of them in all. And this is from my punch art class five, and I mail you everything to do them um, that you put in your own book. And so I'll have a link underneath the video and uh, for you to go and check out my punch art classes that I'll mail the projects to you. And just loads of fun. We love punch art and, and just so cute and not a scary project for the kids. It's so <laughs> I hope you'll check those out. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed my Halloween project. You can go to my stamping blog to see some of the other ones I've done too, stampingsmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.